commencing in autumn of 2018, UNICEF Jordan and Methods for Irrigation and Agriculture, or MIRA, funded and implemented the project Decentralized Wastewater Treatment and Reuse in Institutions in Rehab Village, Al Mafraq, Jordan. Aiming to address and improve water scarcity in the area, the project focused on water, sanitation, and hygiene, or WASH, services, environmental education, and innovative water conservation technologies at three public schools. The solar energy system was installed for the Rehab Schools complex. The solar system provides energy for all of the electricity requirements. Innovative gray water treatment systems were installed. The systems treat the water from outdoor drinking faucets using trickling filter technology and reuse the treated water to flush the students' toilets. To maximize water use efficiencies, the toilet units were fully renovated. Fresh water reuse and conservation were taken a step further with the installation of two decentralized wastewater treatment plants with modified septic tank technology. The treated wastewater is reused for irrigation using an automatic and low energy drip irrigation system. The low energy drip irrigation systems have a high efficiency rate of around 90%. The school's rainwater harvesting system was renovated and fitted with a new pump. The harvested rainwater is used to irrigate the crops in the school's greenhouses. The renovated wash facilities save more than 1,000 cubic meters of fresh water per year and reduce water bills up to 50 to 60 percent. A newly installed polycarbonate house allows the school's agriculture department staff to have a controlled planting environment and better equips the learning environment for the students. The polycarbonate house allows students and staff to grow the seedlings for the school and the local community nurseries, providing a supportive learning environment, empowering the students and community, and helping to improve local economies and livelihoods. The pilot project was consolidated with an educational and capacity building program. The students and teachers were trained to monitor water quality by means of water testing devices that were supplied to the school, as well as field training in order to operate the various systems. An educational interactive board was designed and installed to illustrate the project for the students and visitors. Additionally, educational booklets for students consisting of topics related to water and environmental conservation were provided. The personnel concerned with the operation and maintenance of the school systems and other staff members have been trained and provided with the system's necessary manuals. Last but not least, key individuals and groups from the local community, local government, and private agencies were outreached within UNICEF and MIRA's awareness efforts. أنا هبة عادة الحراشة من مدرسة الحرب الثانوية للبنات عضو في لجنة الصحة استفدت من بيت الزجاجة في عمليات التشتيل وتعاون مع مدرسة الحرب والمجتمع المحلي على عمش عمل مشاريع صغيرة أنا هبة الحراشة من الصف الثاني زراعي من اللجنة البيئية استفدنا إحنا كطالبات زراعي من تقنيات البي التقنيات البي الحديثة سبقنا في عنا فائض بالماء وصرنا نستفيد منه وصار عنا إنه بنقدر نزرع أكثر من شتلات مريم المشاقبة منسقة الفرع الزراعي بمدرسة الحرب البيت الزجاج استفدنا منه زراعة للتشتيل طبعاً بدور الخضروات ونباتات الزيت
بعد طبعا ما نشتن هاي المنتجات رح ينقلها لاكياس تشتين بعدين طبعا ريح حاضر المنتج رح يكون للمجتمع المحلي بالاضافه لمردود للمدرسه لاستخدام مشاريع بامكان السيدات طبعا والمراه العامله او اي حد يعمل هذا المشروع لزياده الدخل عنا الاسره الاستاذ حسن خزاعلة من درس الرحاب الاساسيه للبنين تجربتنا كانت اكثر من رائعه مع جمعيه ميرا بما يخص مشروع معالجه المياه المياه العادمه ونظام الري ونظام الطاقه الشمسيه طبعا استفدنا خبره وتجربه كبيره وهي التجربه نقلناها لطلابنا بدورنا احنا كمعلمين ومجتمع محلي وكانت الفائده كبيره الحمد لله رب العالمين الان اصبح عندنا نظام ري واصبح عندنا اشتال واصبح عندنا شجر والحمد لله تجربه اكثر من رائعه انا مبروك حراحشه عامل حقل مدرسه الحاب الثانويه بنات على النظام اللي تركب ووفر جهد ووقت ووفر مياه على مدار السنه تسام مزبون مدير مدرسه الحاب الثانويه الشامل للبنات طبعا احنا نفذ عندنا مشروع استخدام المياه المعالجه في المؤسسات من خلاله تم توفير كميات كافيه من المياه للمدرسه لغيات الري والزراعه وفي عندنا البيت الزجاجي لتدريب الطلبه على زراعه المزروعات بانواعها المختلفه اضافه لتوفير الوقت والجهد في عمليات الري من خلال انظمه الري الحديثه. الف زبون رئيس المجلس المحلي لمنطقه الحاب المشروع تم الاستفاده منه في ري حديقه البلديه وهي متنسه ومتنفس لابناء هذا البلد بالاضافه تم توفير كميات مياه للمدارس للاستفادة منها من زرع الأشجار وبعض الأمور السلامة العامة The work did not stop here but extended to include implementing a similar approach at two primary schools for boys adjacent to the female school More than 350 trees were planted in the school's grounds and the village park adjacent to the schools, which is now also irrigated with a newly installed low-energy drip irrigation system. The success of this pilot project led to the initiation of a new partnership between UNICEF and MIRA to include 25 schools within seven governance throughout Jordan. UNICEF and MIRA will continue to work on their mission toward the implementation of sustainable development initiatives in Jordan by addressing the challenges facing the water, agricultural, and environmental sectors in order to contribute to water conservation, environmental sustainability, and social and economic prosperity.